typically everybody is a good candidate for dental implant. There is no age limitations. Everybody who has enough bone and is healthy and uh, is specifically not a, is not a smoker is a very good candidate for dental implants. Uh, there is only two factors that might cause the implants to be not as successful. One would be having some systemic disease like diabetes. The other one is going to be uh, smoking because these two uh, disease or these problems they cause your uh, healing process to be much slower. Usually the way it works is that we need to be placing a small cut or incision on the gums in order to achieve the bone, then there's going to be a sequence of drilling that we do and uh, then implants are going to be placed inside the bone and we usually leave them inside the bone for between 2-3 months to 6 months for the implants to get completely osseointegrated, meaning that they're going to be becoming a part of the bone. Now one of the first steps of doing an implant procedure is to get a CT scan in order to know the exact dimension and the quality of the bone before we step into the procedure. The second step would be basically creating a surgical stent in order to place the most accurate implants according to the plan. Usually dental implants are supposed to be lasting for the rest of your life. So basically they're the third set of your teeth. The first is gonna be your primary, the second is gonna be the dentition that everybody has. The third one would be the implants. And as soon as they get integrated inside the bone, they're gonna be so hard to take out. So probably this is gonna be the last tooth that's gonna be coming out of, the, uh, out of your mouth. The implants usually last for a very, very long time but it requires a lot of maintenance, obviously. The crown that has been placed on top of the implants uh, due to many reasons, because it's made of uh, artificial material and porcelain, could break and it always needs uh, some maintenance and repairs after you know these procedures happen. Many people think when they get dental implants, they don't really need to go to the dentist for maintenance or for cleanings or they don't have to floss anymore and they expect the dental implants to do magic for them. Uh, that's not really true. It's, uh, what's, it's very necessary to keep uh, your, still your maintenance, your hygiene maintenance. You need to be on top of all of your hygiene maintenance. If there is anything going on with an implant, if you see your gums are getting swollen, or if you see there is any pain involved with them, or if you see the crown is broken or the crown is coming off, you have to go to your dentist and get it checked out. So dental implants, they, although they are permanent teeth and they are made of titanium, uh, although they are made of titanium, they they're still need a lot of maintenance and you have to be treating them, treating them like natural teeth.